Hey, you've got barbecue and bottles here. Today we're gonna to be going through a video recipe on how to grill rotisserie chicken. And what you're gonna need for this recipe is a whole chicken. Here we've got a three pounder. Make, for, make sure to remove the giblets from the cavity of the bird and then give your chicken a good wash inside and out and then pat it dry down. Uh, from an ingredient standpoint, you'll need a good sea salt, paprika, whole peppercorns in a mill, granulated garlic, olive oil, unsalted butter, and some fresh rosemary. And then from a tool standpoint, you'll need some twine, scissors, and an instant read thermometer. So to start, what we're gonna do is um, hold the bird up and we're just gonna salt the inside of the cavity with, uh, with a bunch of salt. And that's just gonna add flavor as the bird's on the rotisserie and grilling. So stand it up like this and then just put a few pinches of salt into the center of the cavity. Perfect, and make sure if you can, try and get it all around like we're doing here. Perfect, there we go. The next step is just to give the bird a good coating of olive oil. And this, uh, as we'll, we'll set up a baste, but as this uh, olive oil coats the outside of the bird, it'll just help some of the seasoning stick as we baste the bird through the, uh, the rotisserie cook that we're doing here. So both on the top side, as well as on the bottom side. Got a, just a nice thin layer. We're using extra olive oil. We'd recommend you do the same. Great, there we go. Now, you'll need some twine. And what we're gonna do with the twine is just holding the front legs like this. We are going to wrap the legs together. Now you can use, of course, more common regular twine. We're using some crafty twine here that will break once we've tied our knot. Oh, let's use the scissors just in case. All right, so now that we've got the legs tied up, we're gonna wanna do the same on the back of the bird. We're gonna want to tie up the wings just to make sure the wings don't uh, get overexposed to the heat on the grill and end up burning themselves. So we'll do the same here. Tie up these wings. Perfect. Now they're this chicken is ready for the grill. We're gonna be doing a rotisserie, so um, I'll go get our rotisserie pole and I'll be right back. So with a rotisserie pole, what we're gonna to wanna to do is make sure our bird is securely fastened. So we're gonna stick the pole through the front of the bird. Perfect, there we have it. Now our bird is just ready to be put on the grill. All right, so we're gonna get the rotisserie chicken set up on the grill. So if your grill has a built-in rotisserie chicken uh, or rotisserie unit like this one does, just get it in place, set up like that. And what you're gonna want is you're gonna to wanna to use a tray at the bottom just to catch any of the drippings as the chicken grills or cooks. Uh, and then as we baste, of course, there'll be drippings that come out of the basting. So it's good, you can use a tin foil pan. Here we're using a cast iron pan. And uh, now we're, we're all set up. So let's get this fired up.
perfect. Just look at that back infrared heat unit. We'll be cooking with gas here. And this is going to take a couple hours. We'll see how it goes. We're going to want to measure 180 degrees Fahrenheit in the thickest part of the bird, and we'll show you where that is. But until then, let's close down this grill. Now that the chicken's on outside, we're going to make a marinade or a baste that we'll use to slowly baste the chicken um, while it's rotisserieing out there. So we're going to use a quarter cup of butter. Now that we have the butter melted down, we're going to add in a tablespoon of freshly ground cracked pepper, a tablespoon of granulated garlic powder, a tablespoon of our sea salt, and a tablespoon of paprika. And we'll mix all of that together. Perfect. And now we've got a really nice, rich colored marinade or basting sauce that we can use on our rotisserie chicken. And what we're going to use to actually apply it is we'll take a few sprigs of rosemary, dip it into the basting sauce, and use that as the application tool. And we are actually also going to add a bunch of freshly plucked rosemary leaves off of a couple of sprigs and that's just going to bring another layer of flavor to our basting sauce. We've just finished our baste and now we've come out to check how the chicken's rotisserie here. Don't worry uh, about the temp gauge on the front of your barbecue and what it says. We've only got the back uh, rotisserie grill on so we don't have any of the other burners turned on here and that's intentional but as a result you're not going to get uh, a reading of any meaning on the front of your temp grill so let's lift this up here we go oh perfect and what we're going to do is take a bit of that baste that we worked on inside and just start to apply it over the chicken. Oh, this smells incredible. We've had this, this on the grill for about a half an hour so far, and you can already start to smell the chicken. Just perfect rotisserie flavors are going to be coming out of this. Make sure you get a generous helping of this basting on, and you'll see this is where it's very key to have the drip pan because we're going to get a lot of excess baste just dripping off the bird here. And we're going to want to baste this probably about every 20 minutes or so through the cooking process. Uh, you can do it more frequent or less frequent depending on the flavor profile of the base that you're looking for. But our recommendation would be every 15 or, or 20 minutes. So there we've got our first application of the baste on. Now we're going to close the lid and let this continue cooking away. Coming up to the two hour mark on this cook here, we're going to check the temperature of chicken just to see if it's done. What you're going to want is north of 165, 180 is perfect. So we know this is done here and this is ready to come off the grill. So if you've liked this video on how to make rotisserie chicken, give us a like below and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more of these recipes to come. Thanks a lot for tuning in.